We know that the agricultural sector is your biggest unit, right? And we have seen this ongoing trade tensions between the U.S. and China. The U.S. while making up 20 percent of your revenue or so. Are you at all concerned that farmers here in the U.S. may end up losing market share in the long term if these tensions continue? Yeah, we are, we are concerned. I mean, actually, as you probably say, we are the second largest agricultural manufacturer under the brand of Case and New Holland. And, and we see that our end customers, the farmers, are, of course, hit uh, with the trade tensions. Um, um, they're kind of cautiously waiting. We currently have depressment demand. The demand could be a lot better if we had a resolution to these um, trade rhetorics right now and trade disputes. And, um, and apart from the Chinese situation, I think USMCA is very important to get done. And we hope that we at least get a short-term resolution there to then find a resolution to the Chinese trade deal because I guess that the farmers are hit. And if this sustains longer, the U.S. farmers will lose market share in the global soft commodity trade, for sure. I'm curious, um, a lot of your equipment, for instance, used in uh, the infrastructure build-up globally, uh, that would be a, like a long-term trend that would be beneficial to you. We do have an interesting kind of, obviously, low-rate environment. Financing uh, may be easy for some of your clients. What's your sort of outlook on how that affects your business, that we do have these low to negative rates globally? Well, I think that's a positive, and there's also the tax reform, which is a positive. So we do hope, despite all the trade rhetorics, that by quarter four, uh, farmers took, take advantage um, of the tax benefits that they have and that they basically would also be coming back to the buying table. And, um, and also, um, soft commodity prices um, hang in there right now. I mean, we had a little rally on corn that benefited the farmer, but right now it's really the trade rhetoric that is a bit creating uncertainty, plus um, the harvest is not yet in. So farmers are sitting at the sidelines waiting for a late harvest, and then hopefully in a low interest rate environment, a, a very, very good um, tax environment will stimulate um, some purchase, we hope. And of course, given all of the environment right now, you have now announced your five-year plan, right? Yeah. And you're targeting 5% compound annual sales growth until 2024. Uh, our team, Bloomberg Intelligence, thinks that this is overly aggressive. What are your thoughts? Well, I would say it is an ambitious plan, yet it is based on investment into innovation. So at the same time, we're going to invest $13 billion in R&D and CapEx and, and basically invest into the digital revolution that's ongoing in farming. And Case and New Holland are the leaders when it comes to precision farming, when it comes to automated farming. Um, so we think that we will be able to gain share from our competitors. So that's the reason why 5% growth in ag might sound a lot. But considering that the ag industries around the planet right now are in the trough, I think there is going to be market help in the next five years. Plus, we're investing into innovation with the objective to gain share. What are you expecting in terms of ag equipment sales? Because the expectation was for a little bit of growth, at least this year. But given the trade headlines, what are you thinking? Are we flat or are we going down? Well, we're, again, I don't want to guide to 2020, and we're right now in, in blackout period. Obviously, I'm not talk about the quarter right now. But um, I think it, we're kind of in a flattish market environment as we speak. But there is hope, of course, that we get the trade issues behind us. And, and again, everybody's very hung up on China right now. I think there's, there's other positivity. USMCA, I can only stress that, is a very important one that has to get done. Um, then we had just mm -hmm. right now ratified the, the Japanese situation. So they are coming back to the buying table. And then today there is a a delegation of China in Washington and let's hope that something comes out of it but we're cautiously optimistic for agriculture in 2020. Hubertus, where do you put a recession in the US and elsewhere um, on your kind of forecast for the, the year ahead? Well, I don't want to talk yet about, about a recession because we're still optimistic that we find a resolution to the, to the trade rhetoric, obviously, and we heard it from the, from the other colleague there. If the trade rhetoric and trade war continues, I mean, there is going to be a risk, definitely. And, um, and we're kind of, um, I mean, we're preparing, of course, for the worst and hoping for the best. Uh, but, um, but I think the worst in our case in ag right now is kind of a sideways move. We don't see the ag industry falling off a cliff, given that we are really at an all-time low in the ag industry right now. So you're kind of, with us, protected to the downside a little bit.